So now you've got content in iTunes U. You've got it connected to your Blackboard course. You now know how you can consume the content either by watching or listening, by downloading the movie, and also through subscription. Now how do you actually get that content to your students? How do you link it so that they know that the content's there? And how do you make sure that it stays secure? Academic content between an instructor and a student. Let me show you how to do that. Again, we're in Blackboard and we've logged in, selected our course listing, and we'll stay in EDU 360. Again, I'm going to, uh, instead of clicking on control panels, I'm going to go up to course materials and I'm going to create a link to iTunes U. Uh, for this purpose, I'll go ahead and collect, select week three assignments. And uh, I want to go ahead and add a link uh, in, in this. It says uh, multimedia in a lesson. And I think I want to add in this video clip that I've uploaded. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click Edit View. Now, for those of you who have uh, experience with Blackboard, you know you can add a bunch of different things, uh, Blackboard tools here. Uh, now there's a new tool, if you'll notice, called iTunes U Link. So go ahead and select that click go and you'll be brought to this page here that has link information so I'm going to type in uh, watch iTunes U video and then um, what I'd suggest is in the instructions provide some cues to uh, to the people to the students to make sure that they know what's going to be taking place uh, so I like to put an action step like watch iTunes U video um, and then click on the link above to be taken to iTunes U then look for the Harvest commercial and note how the kids in the video enjoy playing together. Maybe go ahead and provide some question or some, um, some guidance as far as what context you want them to listen to uh, the audio file or watch the video clip. So I'm going to go ahead and put those things in these boxes here. You also have options to keep it active um, if you want the content to be active or not start dates and end dates. I'm going to leave the start date and end date open because I want the content to to be there and not to ever go away. So once I've done all those things, type those things in, given the verbal cues, and let the students know that they want to be looking at the Harvest commercial. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. and It'll say iTunes U link created, content successfully created. So I'll click OK. Now I don't see the link that I just created. Where is it? Well Blackboard automatically by default places that latest content block at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and I'll see there's my link. Watch iTunes U video and I want it to be in the context of being right below this chunk. So I'm going to scroll down and I want that to go into the number two position. And lo and behold, there it is. Watch iTunes U video. I can modify it at any time as well, uh, just like with all the other content pieces of content. But uh, let's go ahead and test our link to make sure that it works. So I'm going to go ahead and click Watch iTunes U Video. It's going to open up a new window. And there it is, EDU 360, Integrating Technology and Teaching. And I'm going to look for the Harvest Commercial. There it is. You've just successfully put in a link in Blackboard that's taken your students to iTunes U, told them what piece of content that you want them to interact with, and then given them options as far as downloading the movie, watching the movie, and also subscribing to all of the amazing academic content that you'll be providing for them. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have uh, questions or need more information on this or other tutorials, visit our website at www.arbor.edu forward slash oat or academictechnology.org.